Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now we've got another Vet Wits 2026 new feature video today. Now you may have noticed if you have tried Vet 2026 that some of the creation graphics are a little different. So I want to explain how this works. So here you can see I'm just currently in Vet 2024 and when I basically draw some shapes um, you'll notice that it kind of like covers up the area and basically you don't really get any opacity or anything like that. So in 3D, there's a little kind of like extrusion we can do after we've drawn something. And I just want to compare this to how this works in 2026 and you'll begin to see the difference. So basically holding the B key down will give me the X-ray view, remember that. And if I do want to just copy off this little shape, I just hold down the Alt key on Mac or Control on Windows. And we can Control D and duplicate. Okay, so now let's look at the behavior in 2026. So I'm just gonna zoom in on this little kind of section of a master plan and let's have a look at how this works. So let's get my uh, moving tool. You'll notice that when I move around now, I can kind of like see the preview of the moving shape quite nicely. So that's working very well and very smoothly. But the most important difference is when you start to draw, you'll notice that when you draw that rectangle, it's got a bit of opacity. So as you draw, instead of having to hold the B key down, maybe, you know, in 2024 or five, you can basically draw and see where you're actually drawing to. So this makes it a lot more easy to kind of like snap to the various items below you, for example. You can see that works really well in that particular example. So I noticed that that was a really nice improvement and it was something that wasn't really publicized by Vetworks. So, you know, do let me know what you think. But in my view, this really kind of just makes the uh, user experience, shall we call it, a little bit more user friendly. Now, I don't know how much you'll notice the difference in 3D, but remember, if you do hold the B key down, you'll get that lovely X-ray view. And I think what you'll notice here is the ghosting when you move in 3D works extremely well. So I think this new graphics, as it's called, has been basically applied both to the 2D and also the 3D. So do remember that Vectorist has this incredible push-pull modeling. So for example, if you do want to kind of just model that up into a little kind of block for a house, very easy to model on that automatic plane, push and pull, and it will automatically add surface as you go. So, you know, if you are looking to improve your Vectorist 2D or 3D skills, don't forget to reach out to me. This is what I do professionally, provide professional teaching globally via Zoom all over the world at all levels from beginner right through to pretty advanced. Now you may have seen my other video on this subject, which was the multiple views. I really just wanted to take the opportunity to compare those multiple views once again in 2026 and 2024, for example. So you can see that the bezels are much nicer, much thinner. Uh, everything seems much more responsive than the older versions. And when you move around, you get that nice little preview in 3D. But do notice that if you kind of like look into those other views, uh, when you're actually moving around in 3D, you'll notice that you can actually see that in those other views as well. Okay, so I'm just going to turn off the crop perspective in that perspective view there. That'll make it full screen. And once again, let's spin that around just so you can kind of really see what's happening here. Okay, and let me get one of my selections and let's just kind of move a copy off. Now, do you notice that it's moving in all those multiple views at the same time? So this is a really nice uh, improvement to the feedback system that you're getting. Now, the multiple views themselves have also these lovely uh, options down at the bottom where you can kind of look at rotated plan or right isometric, see what view you're in. So I think you'll agree uh, the new creation graphics in 2026, while not being maybe a major feature, are a welcome improvement to your user experience. They definitely help when you're drafting. You can see in this example again, I can already see very clearly the drawing below and where I might be wanting to snap to. So much better kind of preview experience than we had back in 2024. So let's just once again compare the 2024 multiple views. You can see the bevels are larger. They're not as easy to read. They're a little bit less responsive. And what I found was the multiple views, um, while they were good, you know, they did work quite nicely, they were definitely not as zippy as they are in 2026. So I think this is something that you'll probably find uh, underlying code has been improved. You know, efficiencies have been gained by the software and the programming. And basically, it's a lot more zippy working in 2026, particularly on my M4 Max MacBook Pro, than previous versions. So I'm really enjoying the new version of Vectorworks. 
So guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, have you noticed the difference on the latest Vectorworks? Or is it something you're interested in trying? There's a whole host of other new features, but I just thought this was a nice, simple one that kind of affects everything we do all the time, both from 2D over to 3D drafting and 3D graphics. So I think you'll expect to see some bigger performance improvements in the latest 2026. So let's just flick over once again to 2026. Here we go. We're just kind of reminding you how this works. So as I stretch the object, um, basically when I go bigger, you'll notice that you do see the graphics. Personally, I would have liked to have seen that on the other side when you go smaller as well. But definitely when you go bigger, you can see the extended area. So maybe that will be something they'll introduce in the next version of Vectorworks. Who knows? But what a nice improvement. And I wasn't expecting this. Um, the multiple views are a big improvement. And also my first video where I talk about some of the big new features like things like spreadsheet splitting and depth queuing and also, um, you know, some of those other cool big new features that Vectorworks offers. So I really do like also the way that you've got the new on-screen view control down in the corner. Um, well, one other nice little interface improvement is you can now basically specify which corner that's in too. So it kind of makes the whole interface and user experience of Vectorworks way more approachable and something that I think you'll enjoy even more. Now, I've been teaching Vectorworks for 25 years, and I have to say, it's a pleasure to teach. People love the interface, and it doesn't take them that long to adapt from that other software. So once again, if you are out there and you would like to learn your Vectorworks, please give me a call, drop me an email, or reach out for a Zoom chat. I'll be very pleased to have a chat about how I can help you or your practice. Take care, everybody. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.